<laughs> so Keith Thurman, who has been inactive for almost what two or three years? I don't even know how I don't even remember the last time Keith Thurman fought. But a deal has been finalized. Tim Zhu will face off against Keith Thurman in the showdown on March 30th. This is one of the cards that's going to be on Amazon Prime. PBC is coming out with fireworks. They're coming out with a bang. This man, Keith Thurman, has been inactive, hasn't fought in years. And he comes back and get a big showdown in Tim Zhu. So this is going to be a test for Keith Thurman to see that he, if he can build his stock back up and get himself, get himself back acclimated, this is a tall test for him. To stay inactive and then come back to the ring and fight somebody the caliber of a Tim Zhu, I can't do nothing but respect Keith Thurman. You know, I'm almost sure that Keith Thurman is still in tip-top shape. I've never been really a big Keith Thurman fan, but at the end of the day, I respect him as a man and as a fighter. Al Heyman, once again, as I said, Al Heyman is always doing what's in the best interest of his fighters. There's Earl Spence at the top of the pecking order. And then below that, there's uh, Keith Thurman, you know, Danny Garcia. It was Sean Porter, but it's Danny Garcia. Terrence Crawford is st still at the bottom. He hasn't earned the trust of Al Heyman because he character is devious. He's coming off as a backstabber. You're not being a man of your word. We can't take your word. You're untrustworthy. So you're not going to get the Canelo fight. You're not going to get the Tim Zoo fight. You're going to rematch Earl Spence like you said you would. Earl Spence was a man of his word. He negotiated in good faith. You backed out the deal. You can't back out now. That's why I said he don't have Bob Arum to protect him now. Bob Arum not going in there and negotiating. He can't protect you. You got three fights and you're going to fight Spence. May the next fight be a draw. Or may the next fight Earl Spence win. And then once Earl Spence win, it's for all the marbles in the third fight. Simple as that. You can't retire because if you think you're about to retire with the money that you got, good luck, bro. Now, didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I tell y'all that Terrence Crawford wasn't fighting Tim Zoo? I told y'all, Terrence Crawford doesn't have the options that he think that he has. He think he calling the shots. You're over in the PBC realm now. Al Heyman, as I said before, is going to protect Earl Spence. Al Heyman don't play about Spence, bro. They're playing chess with Terrence Crawford. You're locked in the contract. You got two fights left. You signed, You initially signed a three-fight deal. You got two more fights for me. You done got away with flying under the radar as long as you was with top rank. You got away with being able to go up under the radar with using Victor Conti. Terrence Crawford, you're not in the position of power. You don't have the leverage that you think that you have. His belt getting stripped, that was intentional. They stripped him of the IBF belt. As I said before, people be thinking that this is just coming from being biased. No, I'm... I'm speaking in all honesty, bro. The actions was said, what PBC fighters have said time and time again. I've heard Danny Garcia and multiple fighters have explained that Spence is like really the golden child over at PBC, bro. Like he get his way and you got to respect it. You know what I'm saying? Like he held to a different standard because Earl Spence, his fighting style. But they playing chess. Now, by Tim Zhu fighting Keith Thurman, let's just say Keith Thurman, hypothetically, because a lot of people underestimate Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman is a really slick, great boxer. Let's say that Keith Thurman pull off this fight. And... Let's say once Keith Thurman, let's say if Keith Thurman defeat Tim Zhu and he wins the belt. Now, Spence has an opportunity if he defeats Terrence Crawford at 147. He can rematch him at 147. They go back to 154 
and take Keith Thurman belt, and he undisputed. Earl Spence can defeat Terrence Crawford, 154, then go fight Keith Thurman for the belt at 154. Have a mega showdown in Dallas. These guys have a history. You ain't got to like somebody to make money with them. You ain't got to like a person to generate millions of dollars. There is a person that I don't like. I can't stand the person's guts. But I'm making money with the person, so I can't get mad. So in business, you put your personal feelings aside. So Al Heyman already was trying to convince Spence to fight Thurman in the first place. This fight uh, at least helped Thurman get his stock back up. I'm going with Keith Thurman in this fight. Sports Illustrated didn't give him fighter of the year. He didn't get fighter of the year in general. He got stripped of his belt. I think what Terrence Crawford ultimately was trying to do was he was trying to build up this showdown. He was trying to turn the attention away from the Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford rematch. Once they built up the showdown, I think he was going to get his team of lawyers, sit down with Al Heyman, and try to negotiate himself out the rematch. Because if Tim Zhu takes the offer and Tim Zhu wants to fight, hey, look, Spence don't want to fight. Let me get this Tim Zhu fight. And then they get up out the fight. Because, hey, listen, I got this. This is a great fight right now. We could Australia, these people, they want to give us a bag. We're going to go fight. I want to go fight Tim Zhu. He got the belt. People are calling for this fight. So Earl Spence tied up. He got the eye injury. But as you see, Spence has healed. So every door is closing on this man. I've been saying this, bro, and it's crazy how it's, everything is, is unfolding the way I said it would. So let me get up off this fight. But Al Heyman probably went to Tim Zeus and said, hey, look, I'm going to give you $10 million to fight Keith Thurman. $15 million to fight Keith Thurman. He wasn't going to make that with Terrence Crawford. And he's going to get money on the back end. So... Al Heyman ultimately probably gave Tim Zhu an offer he couldn't refuse. Showing him the numbers. You can't trust this dude. Like, <laughs> so, and then Earl Spitz, he put up a cryptic post last night. And I wanted to post it, but I got too tied up. But, and I was going to put Bernie in the background talking about how Boots was just a, this, this attractable fighter. And, you know, they don't want Boots. They want to go fight Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu is a better fight. That's what you thought was going to happen. And Earl Spence put up a laughing emoji because he gets the last laugh. I've been telling y'all, everybody at PBC, this is coming from PBC fighters' mouths, that Earl Spence is favored over at PBC. He is the money. He's the big draw. He was the big draw before Terrence Crawford stepped on the other side of the street. And he's going to be the draw that Terrence Crawford think that he is. While he's still at PBC. And as long as you're under the PBC umbrella. You play by our rules. But Al Heyman once again as I said. He's playing chess. He's going to always play chess. He's always 10 steps ahead. And this is great because. They done built up Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford got a chance to go on Good Morning America. You done had your 15 minutes of fame. You became this big star. Now, once Earl Spence bring you back down, Earl Spence could defeat the quote unquote, the best fighter in the world who destroyed him in the first fight. That's an impressive story. That's a compelling story. Great comeback story. They put him in that position. They wanted to get his star power up. They put him alongside Eminem. As I said, Al Heyman was a music promoter. He got connections. Floyd Mayweather and 50 Cent are thick as thieves. Terrence Crawford was never a big star. Never was. You think that somebody could just, a, a fighter could just randomly write Eminem on Twitter and Eminem say, oh yeah, I'll definitely show up. No, it has to be beneficial for Eminem and you have to have connections. Al Heyman has those connections. He put him alongside Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford stock rose 10 times more by being aside Eminem. Eminem is one of the most popular rappers in the world. So he got his stock up. He increased his notoriety. He increased his popularity. So now more people know who Terrence Crawford is. So now this fight, this rematch, it's going to be a great fight. 
And as I said, pretty soon, the test results are going to come out. There's a reason, in my, <clears throat> in my opinion, there's a reason why Victor Conti has been doing sit-down interviews. There's a reason why all this stuff is getting exposed. See, now Victor Conti has confessed. The test results is just going to be proof. And that's what I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I believe all of this stuff is set up. But this is just my opinion. Once again, it's my opinion. It's setting up the rematch. But he knows Eminem. When have you ever seen the B side walk out last? They tricked him and gave it gave up that A side just to get you to fight. And then you got Timothy Bradley <laughs> in the interview that he did when they was asking him about a potential matchup between Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez. You know, this nigga had a nerve to talk about. We got a secret for Canelo. What you mean? Y'all got a secret. Yeah, we got a secret that we can't disclose. Oh, oh, you talking about snack, right? You talking about Victor Conti? Cause they was asking him as far as like, you know, power and these some slick dudes. Like they don't realize that people have caught on and they're going to get exposed. Once that so-called superpower that you think that you got is taken away out your camp. Let's see if you still talking that big dog talk. Once that superpower is moved out your camp.